Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today's video was highly requested by you guys. If you already follow me on Snapchat, you know this, but if you don't, I went to the Kim and Mario Masterclass and you guys wanted to know all the details. What I got, how it was, what I thought. So I thought, let's do a video recreating the look Mario did on Kim. I thought about going through this whole thing and showing you guys what's in it. And then I was like, yo, I don't even like hauls. Why am I gonna do that? So I decided that I'm gonna incorporate as much product from the bag into my routine today. And then maybe on Snapchat, I'll just show you guys what I got. And I just wanted to show you guys, I took notes. The last time I took notes was when I was in college. And then I also wanted to tell you guys what Kim and Mario talked about as far as giving advice on business, how to market yourself and whatnot. But before we get into that, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and tell everybody that you know to subscribe. Literally just tell one friend. Help me spread the word. <laughs> and if you wanna get social with your girl, you know where to find me. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all under Beta Beauty. Um, also, if you guys have Twitter, please come and join the party. Twitter is where it's at. You wanna say something to me, whatever it is, I can keep track of everything, but way better on Twitter. I went through my notes and I wrote out all the things that I think you guys could benefit from. These are things that are pretty much common sense if you're in the industry, you know you should be doing. Uh, I just wanted to go over it. If you're showing up to a client's house, there may not always be good lighting provided, so you have to make it work, and there's nothing better than showing up prepared, so come with your own light. Kim was talking about loud personality. She personally doesn't like people like that in her home. She just likes her makeup time to be the time where she doesn't have to talk or do anything or feel like she has to entertain someone. And I'm coming from a loud person. I think that it's really important to know when you can turn that on and turn it off. Like for instance, I work at a spa a couple times a week and I can't walk into work being all crazy because chances are the client is coming in to feel relaxed I think if I can do it, anybody can do it. And adding on to that, I think it's extremely important to just be yourself. So if you are a loud person, be a loud person. If you are a shy person, be a shy person. Like whatever you wanna be, just be that. But when you're working, you just have to understand how to channel that. That's pretty much it. And then she did mention that she goes on makeup pages that showcase other people's work just to see what's out there. And if she likes something she sees, she will reach out to them. And then Mario, some advice from him and just like watching him do the makeup. Honestly, blending and more blending and more blending. And then building up as you go. Gossiping, talking about negative things might not be so smart. Side note, two things that I think are super important and you guys should practice on the daily in your life and in your work life. Never, ever, if you hear something, what you heard stays there. It does not go to someone else. It just, you never heard that, okay? And then also, do not gossip. There's no need. I mean, this is adding on to what they were saying, but I have always believed this. If you are gossiping in a work environment, what makes me think that you're not going to gossip behind my back? So then your credibility and trust goes down. So just keep that in mind. When you are hired, you should go the extra mile to mix and create concoctions for your client that they can't themselves necessarily create because that's what's gonna differentiate the need for you than them just doing it themselves. You want it to be extra special and then that way it creates a higher demand for you. And then overall, I enjoyed the class. I think that Mario's techniques were very refreshing. They were just 
you know, very simplified. Mario has been one of my favorite makeup artists of all time. I think it's because every time I would see Kim and was obsessed with that specific look, it always ended up being him that did the makeup. So it became one of those things where I could always tell when Mario was the makeup artist. And then that's when I fell in love with his work. Right. Before we jump into this tutorial, you might want to grab some popcorn because this is going to be lengthy. I have a feeling. So I've already cleansed my skin and now we're gonna go in with skincare. We're gonna start with the Erno Laszlo Transfuse Day Serum. I mean, clearly I had a picking party. This is what always happens right before I sit down to film. Next I'm gonna go in with my literally new obsession, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I am obsessed. This is the best thing I've ever worn under my makeup. Apply this all over my face. I'm basically going to go through my makeup routine as close to what Mario was doing on Kim. We're going to go in with foundation first, and this is completely the opposite of how I usually do my makeup, and you guys know that, which I don't mind. i um, just venturing out of my habits here just a little bit. He talked about how much he loves using cream foundations because you can either keep it really natural or you can really build on it and give yourself that full coverage look. Back in the day when I was in high school is when I used to use cream foundations and I think I abused them because I was traumatized and wanted to stay away from it forever. So after this class, I'm gonna go and maybe dabble back into it. So I'm gonna use these Motives Quads cream foundations and try and color match myself. We're gonna go in with the Modus Quad Light. This is usually what I use for my eyebrows. I'm gonna apply it with the synthetic brush. And then to distribute this all over my face before I go in with the Beauty Blender, I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Brush. This is a complexion brush. I am personally, I have been obsessing over this brush forever and then he used it on Kim and I was like, okay, we are on the same page. It just feels really soft and it works really, really well. And really just Press the product into the skin and use this brush till your product is super blended. And I thought it was really interesting because he didn't use a primer, he just used a moisturizer. And he explained that when you use a primer, for him he feels that it is a barrier between your foundation and the skin. So I thought I would try that and I have been for the past couple times I've done my makeup and I'm still alive. I thought it would be the end of my world, but no, it worked perfectly. I'm assuming we've all been trained on the basics, but just in case you haven't, you can definitely watch YouTube videos and learn. Whenever you do a client that's going to an event, always make sure to do their ears and then take it all the way down the neck. And basically any kind of skin that is exposed, you wanna just cover. And I'm going for a more heavier coverage, so I'm layering but then I'm gonna blend really well. On Kim, he didn't really go heavy. She's just literally flawless. Okay, now I'm taking a completely dampened beauty blender and I'm just gonna press this into the skin. And he explained how he likes to do this throughout the makeup application because it takes away the excess foundation and keeps your skin looking super flawless and natural. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is my eyebrows, and this is literally in the order that he did it as well. So on Kim, he used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown on the outer corners and then soft brown on the inner. What makes my life easiest is taking the dip brown soft brown and filling in the areas that need filling in and then going over it with the Brow Wiz after to give it a more soft appearance. So I wanna create balance. My eyebrows naturally wanna go up there so I create a more rounded appearance. And then to create that balance on top, just gonna do the same thing, taking such little product. Okay, now here is where I take my brow wiz and I connect everything together giving it a more soft, natural appearance. I'm gonna do the same thing to this brow and I'll be right back. Now that we're done shaping the brow and getting it to the way we want, he set it with a powder and I'm just gonna set it with this right here, dark brown and this is from the Anastasia Pro Palette. All right, last step, take a clear brow gel and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what helps me is to kind of take some of the product off from the brush 
and it allows it to be more manageable. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna do one eye off camera and then we'll do this eye together. So let's get started with this eyeball. I'm just gonna start off by curling the lashes. I have lashes now, I'm a proud owner of lashes. <laughs> Never thought this day would come. Next I'm gonna go in with this Motives Lux Cream Shadow in Gold Dust. Another thing I thought was really cool is that he never used a primer on Kim, he just used uh, cream shadow bases. And I'm going in with this color by Urban Decay called Zephyr. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm just gonna lay this over the tear duct. Okay, the next step, I'm gonna take this Giorgio Armani eye tint. It is a cream shadow base. And don't mind my battle wounded looking hands. And just go over my whole lid with this. Don't worry about it not blending in. We're gonna fix all that in a second. And okay, now I'm gonna take um, my MAC 217 and just blend out the edges so that they're seamless and smooth. And then now you wanna go in and set the shadow. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills color chocolate. Run this on the outer edges in a circular motion. <clears throat> Don't worry if you're looking like a hot mess because we're gonna clean everything up. This is the Too Faced Love Palette and the colors I'm using are Obsessed and Passion. So Passion is right here. I'm just gonna place this right in the middle. Honestly, he just blended a lot. And I agree with that theory, blend. Blend and blend more. There's never enough blending. Now, moving on to the eyeliner, you know, he did basically four layers. He started with a pencil liner and then cream liner and then went over it with a liquid liner. We're gonna use the Inglot Gel Liner in black and just line the whole eye. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is my lower lash line. The color he used was more of like a coppery tone and I'm gonna use these two colors to get that exact shade. So this is the Urban Decay Baked and then this is the Smashbox Citrine or Bronze Citrine. And I'm just gonna apply these in my waterline. Next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Stila Liner in Damsel and run this under my waterline. And then I'm gonna blend it out with Shadow, same shade we used on the lid, the Anastasia Chocolate, to blend this out. Next, we're gonna apply some lashes and I'm gonna go in with these Huda Beauty Giselles. <laughs> he used some red cherry lashes and then placed individual lashes on top. It's just really feathery and I love it. Personally, I have issues keeping my natural lashes looking blended with my falsies. So all I'm gonna do is take my Inglot Gel Liner and run it below on my eyelashes and push them on to the fake ones. And I promise you this will keep your lashes sealed in. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is my favorite part. I'm gonna go in with this MAC 3D mascara. Okay, so the purpose of just bouncing the beauty blender one last time on my skin before we set anything is to take away all the excess foundation and just to make sure that the foundation is seamlessly blended. Now I'm gonna go in and set my whole face before I set the under eye. Mario used the Bobbi Brown loose powder like with the yellow undertone, but I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, I'm gonna set my under eye with the Ben Nye luxury powder and my favorite new sponge. These have collagen in them and they just really are hydrating to the skin. He used just a regular sponge and he used professional powder by Benefit right under the eye. And for me personally, I'm gonna let this set into the skin for a couple of minutes because I have extremely emphasis on extremely oily everything. Like my life is just one big grease pan, but this, when I do it like this, it just prevents my mascara from running. With this Real Techniques handy dandy brush, I'm gonna just dust this off. And look at that. My face has never been so matte. Okay, now I'm feeling like a human. I mean, when he contoured her, I think everyone was expecting some astronomical thing that he would perform, but he literally just applied hula all around the perimeters of her face. And then to just, you know, give myself a little nose job. Okay, so I just wanna add a little Highlights, and I'm gonna take my Becca Cosmetics 
Champagne Pop Jaclyn Hill collabo. I'm taking my Kat Von D really ratchified looking shade light palette. It's just, I think it's time to get a new one. It's annoying that it's not refillable, but you know, I have a lot of opinions. Next step we want to do is the blush. And I literally died when he pulled out this Too Faced Love Flush called I Will Always Love You. You guys know how obsessed I am with this. I just want to clean under my contour. And to be really honest with you guys, like I said earlier, every time you think of like contouring whatever on Kim, you think like of all these crazy steps. He actually didn't even do that much. He achieved her contour with just powder and you know, he highlighted a bit and that was it. So we're gonna let this set. I wanna highlight a little bit more. We're gonna use this soft blending concealer brush as my highlight brush and place this on the high points of the cheekbone. Okay, let's dust this off. We're almost done here. The next step, he used Fix Plus on her, but I want to try this Tatcha. It's a luminous, dewy skin mist, same concept as Fix Plus. This has glycerin in it, and let's spray some. These are the types of things that I die for because it makes your highlight game fleeky. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips with this Circa Toffee Lip Liner. He literally had like 25 colors on his hands. He like turns around and then it's like, bam. So we're not gonna do that, but I'm gonna go in with Peach Stock by MAC. And then I'm gonna put half and half over it, just a little bit. The next thing we wanna do is just add some gloss and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Motives Kiss Me Lip Gloss. Just to make things more glossy, I just added some Pixel by Smashbox. This is ancient, so hopefully they still make it because I have just found a new obsession for it. All right guys, this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I know, I know, I told you guys this in a couple of videos back that I was gonna start doing skincare videos and I have not forgotten about it. I've actually been planning for it. I want it to be very educational and I want you guys to learn a lot from it. I just wanna start it when my sister's wedding is over so I can really dedicate everything to it. So don't think I forgot about it. All right, that's everything. I will see you guys. Do I have a list of going deep? <laughs> I do. <gasps> I will see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye. Your wife in the backseat on my brand new foreign cop. Me on a Monday. Me on a Tuesday. Me. <laughs> Y'all's the hood rapper. <laughs>